In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to activate and validate an SSL certificate for a Namecheap domain. So let's get right into it. Now, first things first, you actually have to ensure that you have purchased yourself an SSL certificate for your domain. And to do that, we have to go to the dashboard here. And then from the dashboard, we can go up to the top where it says security. And then we need to go to SSL certificates here. So they have a range of different certificates that you can go for. I would just go for a one year plan and I would just go for this one here. You can go for all of these different kinds, but this is going to be, it's just going to be the cheapest one. So I'm going to click buy and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go through the purchase, the process of actually purchasing, purchasing this. So it's only £8.71 for the year. So now that we've actually purchased it, we can go ahead and activate it. And to do that, we want to go over to domain list. And we want to make sure that our domain is actually in here. So once we've done that, we need to go over to SSL certificates. And this is where it's going to show our certificates that we have. So we need to go ahead and actually activate it. And you see, I've got this one here. I'm going to go over and click activate. Now we actually need to go ahead and generate ourselves a CSR. And to do that, we have to go to a different website. I'm going to go to this website called decoder.link and on the left I'm going to go over to the CSR generator option. So here we have to fill in the basic information here. So the domain name. So go ahead, enter the required fields and then press generate. So we've been generated with the CSR and we've also got a private key. Now we need the private key for later but make sure we don't show this to anyone because it contains sensitive information. So save that for later somewhere on your computer. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead now and actually copy the CSR like that and it will copy to our clipboard. So here we need to go back to this section and we need to enter our, SS, our CSR code into this SSL information section. So I've entered that in here and make sure you have the primary domain in there. Next we're going to click on the next button. For this section we can just leave it as add CNAME record. We don't want to put any of these ones and we're going to click next. Next up we need to put our admin email in, so this is where they send, send the SSL file to. Okay, so once we've put all of that in, we can just click submit. And it should take a second, then it's going to take us to a to this page here. At, the, at this point we need to create a CNAME record. And to go ahead and do that, we need to go to this link here, so it says get a CNAME record from this page. So click on that and it's going to open up a new page which contains the stuff. From here we want to go over to where it says edit methods. There's a little drop down here, we want to click on this. We want to click get record. So this is going to be the CNAME record that we need to create. So keep this page open and then head back to the dashboard of um, Namecheap. So we want to go from our dashboard to our domain list. Then we need to go to our domain over here. Go to manage. And then we need to go over to the advanced DNS tab. Go down to add new record. We want to scroll down to CNAME record. Now for the host, we want to go back to the page we just created. We need to copy this host here and we'll paste it in here. And we need to remove the URL that we have or our domain from the end of it. So I'm going to remove that here. Now for some reason when I try and do it in here, it lags up the whole page. So I'd recommend removing it before you actually put it into here. Next up, put the target section in. You can leave this as, as it is. Paste that in there. And then over here, we need to put this on one minute. Then we want to click the check icon and save changes. And there we go. Next, we need to actually check that the record is visible online. So we need to go to SSL certificates again. Go to the one we want to check. So click on details. Then we need to go down here to the CNAME lookup. And we need to go ahead and grab the, so double click on the host value here, copy it. You want to paste this here as the lookup and just check that it's there. Now for me, my record is not public, but yours should be at this point. We can trigger the verification by going over to the domain list again, going back to the edit methods section, going to edit methods, and then we can press retry this here. Now wait a few minutes and refresh the page. And then the certificate status should change to issued, which means that we've done it right. Now we can go ahead and download the certificate. And once we've downloaded it, we can go ahead and forward this to the provider so they can further do the process. That's basically how you do it. 
If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped you out. Thank you for watching.